Hi everyone. So imagine I have an application and I start writing a task. And right now all I'm doing is visiting the site. It's a to-do application. So we want to add a couple of items. Then we want to maybe complete an item, something like this. And then we want to go and show all completed items to verify that just the completed items are shown. We can type the test in the spec file but there is a new feature that's currently is experimental in Cypress called Studio. And that allows you to record the interaction with the site and that will generate the spec and the test automatically. So let's figure it out. So first, because it's an experimental feature, we have to go to Cypress JSON and enable experimental studio and set it to true. Now this will reload the project and now the studio is enabled. And the only difference you would see is nothing. The only way to see that you can record this test is if you hover over the name of this current test, you will see this little magic wand. Add commands to the test. So let's click on this and notice right now in studio recording mode. Not every command is available. You can only record certain interactions and there are no assertions recorded. So that's kind of you know, tricky. Okay, so first things, let's say we want to add an item. So we'll say one, enter, and notice that it adds commands to the command log. We enter two. Now notice that entering text is kind of tricky because it doesn't add more commands. Notice it only generates two commands. So I don't like that. So we're going to cancel and record again. And this time I'm going to say one, enter, and click away. Then click again at the input box, enter, and notice that now it generates separate commands for each text if I can click away from the input box. Okay, three commands are fine. Unfortunately, there is no way for to me to kind of select and say, hey, add an assertion. So we want to verify that there are three items in the list. So to do that, I'm going to save the commands and notice it actually saved them inside the spec inside the right test automatically. So right now I will add an assertion and a thing it's data sci equals to do attribute and should have length three. Okay, so we recorded part of a test and we add an assertion to make sure the app is working. Now we can continue adding commands by let's say clicking on this middle in box. Okay, that seems reasonable. Then we can click on completed that seems reasonable again we're going to save the commands and notice it just adds sections so we can clean up those comments later after we click on the container this is the command that studio suggests i i, I don't like this at all so what we're going to do we're going to extend the previous command instead and say just give me the middle item find um I guess CB input, which probably stands for the checkbox and check. Okay. And we're going to remove it. And every time we perform an action, we want to add an assertion to make sure the application actually performs what we think it's supposed to do. So in this case, we want to make sure that when we check an item, right? See how it changes the item. We want to make sure that after this item is what? So I'm going to open the elements and inspect. I can see that that card, that to do, has class checked. Okay, so right here, after we check the input box, we want to again grab the second item and add adding an assertion should have class checked. Okay, perfect. And what happens after we click on the completed filter? Well, we should see only a single item. So let's say we'll come here and we'll say one. And in this case, it actually fails. And you know why it fails? Uh, it finds all three items and look, some of them are invisible because this application doesn't remove the items from the DOM, it just hides them. So we can say, okay, find all these items, but only take the visible ones. And there should be just one, okay? So this is how we can use Cypress Studio to record parts of a test, and then we can manually add a couple of assertions to make sure the application is doing the right thing.